Good morning, sunshine. It is 6.30 a.m. And I have nothing valuable to say other than i got a headache. I don't want to get up. I actually want to go back to bed. But I think I'm going to go back to bed. I think when you're about to go to bed, one of the things that you tell yourself, or I tell myself, I'm just going to lie down for a few minutes... My eyes are all puffy because my allergies are killing me, but, yeah, I look terrible. So, this is what I was reading last night. Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. Okay, so, first thing in the morning, I want to be the person that I believe in my head or that I want to create. And that is to do my gratitude journal really quick. I just uh, okay. This is called the Grid Diary. I am grateful for my supportive wife Naomi. I am grateful for my three beautiful children. And then you can see the questions that I ask myself. What would make today great? What is one of my big goals? Actually, you know, speaking of big goals, here is my dream board. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about this. I'm like 2,000 sales on my fatbrainbreakfast.com program. And then I got my house goal. Not that big of a house, but just some abs, of course. Look at this. One million YouTube subscribers. And of course, Helping me understand people better. People will do anything for those who encourage their dreams, justify their failures, ally their fears, confirm their suspicions, and help them throw rocks at their enemies. I guess a way to kind of start my morning, you know, that last thing I just read is essentially how you influence people, you know, encourage people's dreams, justify people's fears, ally with their, or justify people's failures and ally with their fears, confirm their suspicions. And help them throw rocks at their enemies. Of course, it can't be for everything because sometimes some some fears are irrational. But keep in mind that this is the biggest reason why people don't want to be criticized. No one likes criticism. I mean, of course, you're going to have to take some and you're going to have to learn from your mistakes. But criticism is the last thing most people want to hear. So these are my vibrams. I'm going to go for a run this morning. Going for a run, waiting for my son, that rhymed. We are gonna run a mile, actually we walk one lap and then we run. So, I was actually having this random thought about why I don't do measurements with clients as often as I used to. I used to do clients uh, measurements with clients almost on a regular basis. And these days I don't have a lot of clients that I train one-to-one -one that are like, you know, wanting to like lose weight on a timeline. Most people I train are just really looking for, I mean they wanna lose weight, but the reality is, uh, their lifestyle is something they're not willing to give up. Uh, so kind of that's sort of like what reality is with people. Like the reason why people don't want to lose weight is because they don't want to give up the lifestyle. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just understanding that you know that's what you have to do. You have to adjust your lifestyle in some form or way, which typically is uncomfortable. But going back to what I was thinking about, I, I realize why I don't do measurements with people as much anymore is because. I'm afraid of the reaction. I've had about maybe a handful of people that I've done measurements with and they just blew up in my face. They just, they started either crying or it was, just, it was just bad. So unless they really, really want measurements or they really want to hit a specific timeline goal, I'll do measurements. But now these days, I kind of, uh, I think I'm traumatically stressed from it. Of course, it's probably unrealized or un, un what do you call it, irrational. Are you ready to run under? It is Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Good morning, Tuesday, June 28th. How you doing, under? We're going for our morning walk. Actually, we walk one lap, and then we run three. This is our neighborhood here, if you can see it. Gonna go for a run. Uh, and I actually... Oh, it's a bird. Hey, look, it's a bird. So we ran this morning for about one minute and 30 seconds. We stopped uh, because we're just not in a running mood. I think it's funny that 
Still can't believe I actually ran 26.2 miles. It's about six years ago. How did I, why did I do that? Go run. All right, so this is Ender running in slow motion as you can see how he runs. The one thing I was actually looking for was internal rotation in his hip and you can kind of see with every stride as he goes into hip extension, he's able to get internal rotation in the hip, which a lot of people are missing, which is why people will occasionally have back problems when they run. All right, here's our little running calendar we've been doing. So first day of Saturday was 14.25, 14.59, 14.49. Hopefully we can trim it down by another 10 seconds. Oh, well actually wasn't both either in the mood to run. Look at this, it is two bronze medals. From powerlifting. This was, I don't have a date on this one, I think it's 2000, I can't remember. But this one was from 2014, this is the second powerlifting meet I did. All right, time to go to work. Uh, trying to do fasting every morning, but you know, sometimes you get hungry and you give in. But it's all right. Nothing interesting. All right, so it is 8.36 a.m. and I'm at work. I got about 10 minutes before my next client, or my first client of the day, and listening uh, to podcasts with Kevin Cosner. i um, been on Tim Ferriss' podcast um, binge lately. And I have to say that my mornings are my most, my, most, my, my drive to work it is one of my most valuable times of the day because it's almost like a form of meditation. It's like I'm focused on this one thing. I guess in lots of ways it's kind of like working out, but I'm focused on one thing only and that is getting to work. But at the same time, I'm listening and I'm like, I can't really get distracted from driving. So I'm listening to this podcast and I get to, I guess, connect with another human being and well, sort of in a way. And that's basically what I'm trying to do when I create these videos is I'm trying to connect with people. I'm trying to build some value. At the same process, I'm trying to learn more about myself because lately what I've been thinking about a lot is like, what does it take to really build the following that I want to build? Uh, and obviously a big part of it has to do with me being able to help people, being able to deliver value. But it's almost the sense like, okay, I could be on the entertaining side, I can be on the success side, but it's almost like, you know, one feeds the other. So once you become successful, it's like everything just kind of happens. It's like, it's like that first million is the hardest. But the same part, I'm trying to also be humble about it. I'm trying to not have a huge ego because... You know, I've seen like what uh, like a, what an ego can do. You know, it, it just it makes me very very unhappy, and it's one of those things that I just I try to keep I keep in check. I'm trying to keep in check because you know I don't want to end up unhappy. I want to be happy, and I, you know I want to enjoy everything that I'm doing. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, just finished training. One of my clients going to be going and doing a workout so maybe I'll film a little bit of it we'll see how this works out and that is lunch it is a tri-tip steak with a good amount of fat on it um, all right so I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna lift weights or not um, too much work to do So doing chest workout today, decided to work out. Um, it hurts, 60 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. Burns like a motherfucker. Uh, I don't have a tripod to record. Maybe there's an exercise I can do where I can record. Oh, I, when I do dips, you're gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to record some workouts, some repetitions. Okay, hopefully my phone doesn't fall here. As All right, so some dips as promised. Uh, we'll find out how this workout goes. I'm using a heavy band because I'm freaking exhausted. 60 seconds, I'm not even making 60 seconds. I'm gonna have to regress the workout. Uh, but let's go ahead and have at it. All right, I found something interesting I could teach doing bands, uh, some dips, and having some challenges because this is enough, not enough assistance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot at the end of each section here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do as we're going to. There you go. And I'm going to wrap it around here so you can see this here. See that? 
mouth out right here on this dip bar here. Boom, look at that ingenuity right there. This is probably too much assistance, but we'll give it a try. So it's been a fairly uneventful day. Here I am at my gym. It is uh, 6.54 p.m. I'm waiting for my seven o'clock client. And I'm working on marketing stuff. I am, I just posted a new video. Actually, if you check it out, it is um, 21 Fat Loss Habits, or 21 Fat Loss Easy, I don't forgot the name of it. I'll put a link in the description. There'll be a link up here for you to click on if you're interested in watching that video. Um, what else is there? I think that's all I got. I'm home right now. I'm actually in front of my mailbox. Uh, you know, vlogging, right? Nothing interesting to talk about other than I'm listening to a marketing podcast. So I'm, I'm just talking about marketing. I really want to listen about marketing. I'm just trying to get the habit of learning what to record. I think my weekends will be a little bit more interesting, uh, especially with 4th of July coming up. We'll find out how that works out. I'm kind of regretting this. Not regretting. I'm, I don't want to go back on my word. I said I would do a seven day a seven and a half day vlog and I'm going to do it. So I'm gonna do this. Look at this little girl. Hey! Mwah. Look at you with a pretty dress. Mom, Dad. 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 We're doing a vlog here. <laughs> we're dog piling <laughs> mom. Oh look we're all on mom. No! Dog piling mom! <laughs> He's trying to get up here. I can't breathe. His eyes are heavy. I can't breathe. I just I can't breathe. <laughs> And now I'm eating some grapes. I'm doing a seven day vlog. Did you hear me, Ryan? What, did, what, did, what? You know what I'm gonna start eating now? That's my beautiful wife. <laughs> so that ends my day, today's vlog, which is June 28th, 2016. Gonna go and read before going to bed. I'm trying to say something positive, I have nothing to say. All right.